Hello and welcome back once again to Infinite Jeff, the project where I, Jeff, read the book Infinite Jeff to you one day at a time, one page at a time. I put it up on the YouTubes, is, 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 you know, I'm, I'm tired, so you know the drill. <clears throat> this is page 184 of the Infinite Jest. I mean, we've uh, passed six months of doing this, so we only have another, like, two and a half years. But, I mean, yeah, cool, so... Uh, that's page, or we're on page 184. Here, how we ago. Protrudes from the gray and bulbous surface of the Union's roof. Institutional design has come a ways from I.M. Pei's MIT's near new student union off the corner of Ames and Memorial Drive, footnote 60, East Cambridge, is one enormous cerebral cortex of reinforced concrete and polymer compounds. Madame Psychosis is smoking again, listening, head cocked. Her tall screen will, leave sm will leak smoke for her shoals whole hour. The student engineer is counting damn from five on an outstretched hand. He can't see how she, sh see she sees. And as Pinky meets Palm, she says what she said for the last three years of Midnight's, an opening bit that Mario and Condenza, the least cynical person in the history of Enfield, Massachusetts, across the river, listening faithfully, finds for all of its black cynicism terribly compelling. Her silhouette leans and says, And lo, for the earth was empty of form and void, And darkness was all over the face of the deep. And we said, Look at that fucker dance. A toneless male voice is then cued in to say it's sixty minutes more or less with Madame Psychosis on YYY109, Largest Hole Prime on the FM Band. The sounds, the different sounds are encoded and pumped by the student engineer up through the building's corpus and out the roof's aerial. This aerial, low watt, has been rigged by the station's EM weenies to tilt and spin, not unlike a centrifugal theme park type ride, spraying the signal in all directions. Since the BS 1966 Hunt Act, the low watt fringes of the FM band are the only part of the wireless spectrum, spectrum still licensed for public broadcast. The deep water green of FM tuners all over the campus's labs and dorms and barnacled clots of grad apartments align themselves slowly towards the spatter's center, moving there toward the dial's right, a little creepily, like plants toward light they can't even see. Ratings are minor league by the pre-interlaced broadcast standards of yore, but they are rock-solid consistent. Audience demand for Madame Psychosis has been, from the very start, inelastic. The aerial, inclined at about an ang the angle of a three-kilometer cannon, spins in a blurred ellipse. Its rotary base is elliptical because that's the only shape the EM weenies could rig a bold for. Obstructed on all sides by the tall buildings of East Cambridge and Commercial Drive and Sirius Downtown, though only a couple thin pie slices of signal escape MIT proper, e.g. through the P.E. department gap of barely used lacrosse and soccer fields between the Philology and low temp physics complexes on Memorial Drive, and then across the florid purple nighttime breath of the historic Charles River, and then through the heavy flow of traffic on Starrow Drive on the Chuck's other side, so that by the time the signal laps at Upper Brighton and Enfield, you almost need almost surveillance grade intonation to filter it out of the EM miasma of cellular and interconsole phone transmissions and TP's EM auras that crowd the FM fringes from every side. Unless, that is, you're lucky, your tuner is lucky enough to be located at the apex That was page 184. Good night.